Obvious the bastard's got Lyme disease. What? Lyme disease. You touch some deer feces and then you eat a sandwich without washing your hands, you got your Lyme disease. And that makes you look like a squid. <laughs> oh, well, fuck you all for laughing. Chief, another attack over at the Castavets. What? Grant's been stealing animals off farms edge of town. Oh, Jesus. Right, folks, let's go. Don't forget your guns. We don't want any Lyme disease popping out at us. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ha, ha, fucking ha. Episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, you are not advertiser friendly! No, 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 we are not! And tonight, tonight, tonight is episode number 29! Yes, we are almost at the finish line, and I figure, man, let's continue on this wonderful train of trauma and tragedy by reviewing an Italian film, a film that was originally intended to be part of a series of films, the Demons series. However, the director, Mr. Salvi, who uh, you may remember, directed the first film that I reviewed for the 31 It's a Halloween Horror this year, and that was Della Morte Della More. Anyways, he wanted to differentiate himself uh, and his movie from those other ones, those first demonic demons movies. And so even though this movie is very thematically similar, it was rewritten and redone several times to kind of brush aside those, uh, those uh, other elements and make it its own, which is crazy because this movie has the fingerprints of a lot of talented Italian movie people. I mean, Dario Argento, of course, was the producer and writ was one of the co-writers and, uh, of course, Salvi directed. However, um, Lamberto Bava and his brother also wrote, uh, helped write the script. There was several rewrites, of course, because to kind of help get rid of the whole ties to the Demons series. Anyways, the movie that I'm talking about, because you're like, oh, get on with it. Tell me what movie are we doing? Well, we're doing The Church, The Church, otherwise known as Demons 3, The Church, or The Demonic Church, or, you know, I mean, back, you know, everyone just kept putting 5,000 different names on these these foreign films. <laughs> anyways, anyways, the church, what is the church about? Well, way back in medieval times, there was a plague that was gripping the land. And so these knights, along with the church, descend upon this village as the source of the plague and murder everyone. I mean, mercilessly murder men, women, children, even the animals, and buried them all in a mass grave and decided to build a church atop of that to help seal away the evil of this plague forever. However, hundreds of years later, a a librarian who is a new hire for the for the church uh, stumbles upon a secret, and he was always very inquisitive about uh, cathedrals because they believed that they were uh, burying uh, secrets of like ancient sciences and things like that. And he was very uh, interested to find out these secrets. And when he realized that there was a secret under this church, he couldn't help but continue to explore. And of course, like we've learned in the movie, The Evil, when things are sealed, they're sealed for a reason. And of course, he unwittingly breaks the seal and the demonic plague starts to affect everyone. And of course, conveniently, uh, there is a, a bunch of people visiting the church, tourists, uh, a class, a uh, photographer is, is doing some shoots, and because the evil was released, the church's fail-safe mechanism kicks in and locks everyone in, and slowly but surely they all succumb to the curse 
infected, plague, virus, demonic, whatever. Anyways, they go nuts and start killing each other and having demonic sex. And yeah, it's just a, a, a big... They just lose their minds and stuff like this. Anyways, the, the sole person unaffected by this is a, a priest who try, has to figure out the key to stopping the spread and saving everyone. And uh, let, me, let me just tell you, man, the, the, the solution is not a fun solution. But anyways, let's get to those scores. Violence and gore, four out of five. I'm like, we've got decapitations. We've got face tearing. We've got people ringing bells with severed heads. We've got just puncturing. Uh, all kinds of, of, of nastiness going on in this movie. I mean, someone freaking jackhammers themselves in the gut. It's, it's nasty. Some rips uh, his heart. Yeah, it's, 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 full of, it's full of fun. Full of fun and gore and violence. So four out of five. Shock value, three out of five. Look, there's maybe like one jump scare in this movie. And it's kind of effective. But really the shock is like the fact that you've got uh, demon sex. And uh, they are not shy about offing kids. Even a baby, an infant gets fucking trampled by a, a horse. I mean, it is it is some brutality there that uh, I find to be kind of shocking. I mean, you know, when they wax a kid, especially like a baby, you know they're fucking serious, man. You know some shit is going down. Okay, so three out of five. Plot, I am giving this a three out of five look. There's all these questions because the plot is a little bit ambiguous about is it actually a demonic force or is it the fact that this plague just causes people to go crazy and they act like, you know, because there's all the, there's a lot of hallucinations involved. There's a, a lot of just, you know, weirdness going on in people's minds and the way it spreads uh, through the air, through scratches. Uh, really kind of, you know, tell, tells you that it may be just some sort of weird bacterial plague or virus, but uh, also the imagery of, like, demons and people uh, <coughs> gathered around the sealed pit area praying and chanting weird things while a demon has sex with this one woman. I mean, it's, 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 am <coughs> it's a bit ambiguous, is it? Is it, is it a real plague or is it demonic? They don't really answer that question. They don't really give you any context. In fact, at the beginning, you just think the knights are assholes because let's say there is a reputation of overzealous uh, knights in Christendom just, you know, blanket murdering people because the uh, priest guy says, yeah, they're evil, kill them. <laughs> Not necessarily because there's any truth to the matter or any proof that it's actually going on. However, uh, is neither here nor there. I like the fact that it is a bit ambiguous, uh, and the the fact that the uh, the the head bishop is like, oh, I've got the secret to stopping this, but no, I need it to be released upon the city because this city is debauched and horrible, and it needs to feel the wrath of evil so that it can repent. So you know, I I, I did enjoy that part too. So three out of five acting. <sighs> I'm going to give this a 2 out of 5 look. Dubbing matters. Dubbing matters. And sometimes you can get by the dub, and sometimes the dub just gets you. It, it's, it, 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 just, it just kills some of the moments. And I think, you know, the, the regular actors, I think, do a pretty decent job. But, man, that dub and the stilted dialogue because of the dub really just takes you out of certain moments and, and is kind of ridiculous. And it really, really just jolts you out of that. And that's unfortunate and, and sad, too, because, honestly, I, I, I did enjoy uh, some of the actors. Uh, the, the guy who plays the bishop, the librarian, I thought were really good. It's just everything all around. Like, they had the little kids, and that was just, just a little bit sad. So I'm sorry, too out of five uh, nudity we are doing a one and a half out of five there are some some nice uh tetons in this film however not 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 much not too not too much so 
one and a half out of five. Enjoyment factor, I am giving it a four out of five. I really enjoyed the movie. It was atmospheric. Uh, it, 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 it had a sort of ethereal feel to it, kind of like how uh, A Virgin Among the Living Dead kind of had this otherworldly uh, feel to it, this airy, ethereal type of uh, essence to it. There's a, there, are mo there are parts of this movie where there is just um, scenes with no dialogue and the music and, and, and you feel like the, the film is kind of just floating around and, it, and it's kind of surreal and it's very, very well done. This, this movie looks great. The cinematography is awesome. I love the, the look of the church, the interiors, the exteriors. And it just has this, this mood with that music. It, it just creates this, this, this feel and this, this sort of otherworldliness uh, that you, you've crossed beyond like your regular earth and you've, you've, you've come into some place where the, the rules are no longer applying and uh, up is down and down is up and, and everything is a mess. But yeah, it's beautiful and it is engrossing and you can't keep your eyes off of it. It is it is very well done movie, well put together, and I really I really do enjoy it. And that leaves my overall impression a four out of five. Uh, Salvi really did outdo himself. It's definitely tonally much different than the Demon series uh, look and feel. Uh, the Demon series has a lot more fun to it. Uh, however, um, you know, he, he did a pretty good job and uh, it, it definitely shows it is a, a highlight <laughs> uh, to, to, to be sure. I know there are some people who don't really get it and the plot, yes, can be a little bit uh, for, for some people, but I appreciate the movie um, throughout and it was a great watch so four out of five and that averages out to a 3.1 out of five very good very good and that is the church what did you think have you seen the church tell me what you thought in the comment section or if you agree with me disagree with me whatever you want to share a recipe for bread i don't care just do it in the comment section and leave me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, notification bell, um, blah, blah, blah. And I will see you next time. Only two more episodes left. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I am going to be so glad I get to sleep pretty soon. <laughs> Anyways, so I will see you next time on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. And remember, Internet, stay sexy, stay scary. And oh, like I've said before, do not. Screw with those seals in the basement of buildings or churches or anything. I mean, just, you know, it's sealed for a reason, people. You don't want to become demon-possessed and then take the demon D. I mean, I mean, sure, I guess there are some people who want to do that, but I wouldn't want to do that. That just sounds so stupid. I mean, like, ugh. Really? You're not even buying a dinner beforehand. I mean, come on. And you know they're not going to use Lou. Come on, it's a demon. Some might say they're self-lubricating, but I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say, no, no, thank you. No, no, no. Uh-uh. You should, too. <laughs>